Hey there YouTubers. Today I want to talk about the 25th Amendment. There's been uh, considerable uh, talk about the 25th Amendment and how that would apply to Donald Trump. Give you a little background on the 25th Amendment and it was adopted in February of 1967. Uh, mainly uh, what it says is that the president can be removed from office if the majority of their cabinet determines the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. Uh, it was used in 2007 when George W. Bush uh, had a medical procedure and power was transferred to uh, Dick Cheney for a brief period of time. Um, look, you can go to Google Trends and type in 25th Amendment and for, you know, five, ten years prior to the election, there was just no interest, hardly any searches on Google for the 25th Amendment. And of course, when Donald Trump was elected, that went crazy. You know, all of a sudden, butt hurt uh, Democrats looking for any way to uh, overturn a duly elected president uh, sought out uh, bizarre ways to uh, remove him from office. I want to read a little bit to you uh, by a guy named uh, Jeffrey Rosen. Jeffrey Rosen is the president of the Constitution Center. And he told CBS that it isn't too likely that Trump will be removed by his cabinet, even if there is a valid medical issue. He goes on to say the determination of the president's disability is really a political question. So that means that the cabinet and the vice president decide what disabled means. It's not a decision for doctors. He goes on and concludes with, it's easier to impeach than to invoke the 25th Amendment, which is why no president has ever been removed under the disability provision of the 25th Amendment. You know, if the cabinet and the vice president determine that the 25th Amendment applied and they issued a decree on that, then President uh, Trump would have the option of signing a, 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 an affidavit or a form that says, I'm, I'm fine, I'm capable of serving as president, and that would send it back to the Senate where it would take a two-thirds vote. And just like impeachment, it would take a two-thirds vote of the Senate. And I would remind Democrats that you didn't uh, win the Senate, and that's not going to happen. So back to what I've been talking about in some of my videos is that Democrats need to get serious about rolling out a viable can candidate to run against Donald J. Trump. And so far, um, I'm not impressed with any of the models you've pushed out there. Um, today... Bernie Sanders announced that he's going to run again and immediately started bashing the rich, of which I believe he's won. Um, you know, the free college, uh, the free housing, the guaranteed government jobs, uh, well, uh, um, health insurance, Medicare for all. Uh, we can go on and on down the Santa Claus list. Uh, you know, get serious about... Uh, pushing a, a moderate candidate, a centrist candidate, and uh, knock off the clown parade. That's all I've got for today. I want to thank you for watching my videos and uh, would encourage you to like and subscribe. Thanks again.